All right. I wanted to do something uh, kind of for some of the people who got some consultations and yeah, were able to purchase the three, four video. Um, I know that most people are not going to understand the amount of information in these consultations in the three, four video. And it is a lot. OK, a lot of you guys, I've already given you your remedy, but I'm going to bring it home right here. OK, so there's a lot of people who think that the uh, United States or this country declared its independence in 1776, which is a misnomer. OK, the, de the Declaration of Independence was an actual motion. Okay? <laughs> the whole like what y'all think about history, man, it's not even true. OK, it's not true. So we already discussed this uh, when we're talking about declaring something. OK, so for you guys, go back to your videos, go back to your consultations and you'll understand what I'm about to read to you. OK, by issuing the Declaration of Independence adopted by the Continental Congress on 7, uh, July 4th, 1776, the 13 American colonies severed their political connections to Great Britain. That is a bar. Listen to what they said. They severed their political connections with Great Britain. OK, this document does not declare America's independence. But we'll go into it. OK, the declaration summarized the colonists motivation for seeking independence by declaring themselves as an independent nation. The American colonists were able to confirm uh, an official alliance with the government of France and to obtain French assistance in the war against Great Britain. Now, who told you that HGR 192 is not correct? Who told you that you have to read the Paris Treaty? You heard it right here on the Winter Circle. No one else but me. OK, and I'm not being arrogant, but sometimes people steal my stuff and go and create videos, but never give my channel any credit. So sometimes I have to go for the credit. So look, the Declaration of Independence throughout the 16, 1760s and early 1770s, the North American colonists found themselves increasingly at odds with British imperial policies regarding taxation. So what do you think you guys are going through with mortgages? car loans, um, traffic tickets, et cetera. Why do you think you keep getting bailed? Okay, history repeats itself. It only repeats itself. It's just like when people use the analogy, my father rode a horse, I ride a Benz, my son drives a Ferrari, his son will drive a, ride a horse again. Why? Because people forget history. Okay, and frontier policy. When repeated, protests failed to influence British policies and instead of resulted in the closing of the port of Boston and the declaration of martial law in Massachusetts, the colonial government sent delegates to a continental Congress to coordinate a colonial boycott of British goods. When fighting, when fighting broke out between the American colonists and the British forces, hint, hint, police, in Massachusetts, the Continental Congress worked with a lo with local groups. Please go watch my video where I'm talking about how police infiltrate local groups to create some kind of static or to to create agendas. Originally intended to enforce the boycott, to coordinate resistance against the British. The British officials throughout the colonies increasingly found their authority challenged by informal local governments, meaning citizens. Although loyalist sentiment uh, remains strong in some areas, meaning the people who hate on my videos and other people's videos who are trying to bring you this information. Despite these changes, colonial leaders hope to reconcile with the British government and all but the most radical members of Congress were unwilling to declare independence. Don't you see that in modern day culture when you see all these people making anti so-called sovereign citizen videos? History repeats itself. I'm telling you guys, it's not, this is the same thing. However, in the late 1775, Benjamin Franklin, then a member of the secret committee of correspondence, hinted to the French agents and other European sympathizers that the colonists were 
colony, I'm sorry, the colonies were increasingly leaning towards seeking independence. While perhaps true, Franklin also hoped to convince the French to supply the colonists with aid. Independence would be necessary. However, before French officials would consider the possibility of an alliance through, throughout the winter of 1775 through 1776, the members of the Continental Congress came to view reconciliation with Britain as unlikely. And independence, the only course of action available to them. Listen to what they're telling you, okay? When you have property, you have never declared it, okay? You've never declared your house. You never declared your home. You never declared anything, okay? You never declared your own independence. When, on December 22nd, 1775, and I've already given you guys the answer, please watch them videos. You're going to go into a, oh my God, he gave me the remedy. The British Parliament prohibited trade with colonies. Congress responded in April of 1776 by opening colonial ports. This was a major step towards severing ties with Britain. The colonists were aided by January publication of Thomas Paine's pamphlet, Common Sense. What do I always say? Common sense. It is very uncommon because people do not understand to navigate through court, you need common sense. Okay? That doesn't mean people are stupid. That the court is there to deceive you, okay? It's there to make you doubt yourself and to transfer your property. Why? Because it benefits the court and it benefits agents of the court. Okay. With advocated, uh, with advocated, the, uh, I mean, which advocated the colonies, independence and was widely distributed through the colonies. By February of 1776, the colonial leaders were discussing the possibility of forming foreign, foreign alliances and beginning to draft the model treaty that would serve as the basis for the alliance, uh, the, um, for the uh, 1778 alliance with France. If you need more information about this, go to my video where I'm talking about dispelling the myth of HDR 192. I go over the Paris Treaty. At the time, the phrase bankruptcy was not completed. It was not created. So the bankruptcy, the form, the the word like the 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 use the uh, term bankruptcy was like around the, I think it's like late 1800s, early 1900s, but the country was already in bankrupt. It was already bankrupt prior. It was well in receivership. It wasn't considered bankruptcy back in those days. Leaders for the cause of independence wanted to make certain that they had sufficient congressional support before they would bring the issue. To the vote. On June 7th, 1776, Richard Henry Lee introduced a motion in Congress. What did he just say? A motion. Okay, so the Declaration of Independence is not a treaty, it is a motion. How come people didn't tell y'all this? Y'all sitting here walking around and people telling you the Declaration of Independence is this. They could have read it. It's a motion. <laughs> I've already told people, if you've listened to some of my videos, videos some of my publications, some of the, the three, four call and all these other, all, all the other calls I have, I've told you that the, the Declaration of Independence is a motion to declare independence. Other members of Congress were uh, amenable, but thought some colonies not quite ready. However, Congress did form a committee to draft the Declaration of Independence and to assign this duty to Thomas Jefferson, okay? So like, you guys, please read your publications. I mean, please listen to your videos, okay? Because the answer is in those videos. You guys have to watch those numerous amounts of times to get it because it is a lot of information. When we do consultations, that's why I said, I'm gonna start moving my consultations to an hour because I don't want people to be on the phone for two hours and something they already don't understand, then it's gonna, then that two hours, you're gonna feel like you didn't get any information. But if you sit down, digest the information and research it, you'll be able to process it better. Thomas Paine, Benjamin Franklin and John Adams reviewed Tom Jefferson's draft. They preserved it as 
to its original form, but struck passages likely to meet with controversy or skepticism. Most notably passages blaming King George III for the transatlantic slave trade. What? <laughs> because the Europeans were the slaves. Y'all think it was the so-called black people. It was the Europeans. This is not, I'm not racist. I'm just telling you the truth. This is history. The, the so-called Europeans that were brought to Ellis Island, they were slaves. That's why their names changed. And those blaming the British people rather than their government. The committee uh, presented the final draft before Congress on uh, June 28, 1776, and Congress adopted the final text of the Declaration of Independence on July 4th. So when I'm talking about Europeans being enslaved and brought over here, this is history, okay? The people over here who are the so-called black folks or whatever you want to call them, they got enslaved through the system, through contract, through wars. That's how people who look like me got enslaved. I ain't bring you over here from no damn Africa. How stupid can you be? The British government did its best to dismiss the declaration as trivial. See, they wanted to dismiss it as trivial, a trivial document <laughs> issued by disgruntled colonists, British officials. Don't they always, what you file motions in the court, don't they dismiss it as trivial? British officials commissioned propagandists to highlight the declaration's flaws and to rebut the colonists' complaints. The declaration divided British domestic opposition as some American sympathizers thought the de declaration had gone too far, but in British ruled Ireland had many supporters. Why? Because the Irish came and Irish were enslaved also. They were brought over through the sugar trade. You, you, people need to go read, they were white and they were slaves. You will find out the truth about slave, the slave trade. And you can just read your history and, and find out that the, how the transatlantic slave trade took place because the waters are more still during uh, in, in northern uh, in the northern Atlantic than it is the central and in, in, uh, southern Atlantic. OK, the declaration's most important diplomatic uh, effect was to allow the recognition of the United States by uh, uh, by friendly foreign governments. The Sultan of Morocco mentioned. OK, why is the Sultan of Morocco mentioning this? OK. So you guys don't understand the Moorish uh, part of the American treaty. You guys think of Morocco is in Africa. <laughs> That's where the kingdom is set up. That's not the true Moroccan empire. The true Spanish, the true French empire all started from America. Okay. That's why they petitioned the French because the French was an empire that already started in America. <laughs> Haiti. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Okay. The Sultan of Morocco mentioned American strips, ships in its consular document in 1777. Go read it. The Congress had to wait until the Treaty of 1778, Treaty of Alliance with France, for the formal recognition of the United States independence. Who said that? Me. Why? Because I know history. When it comes to law and history, that's my stuff. Okay? I don't know everything, but I know a decent amount. OK, the Netherlands acknowledged United States independence in 1782, although Spain joined the war against Great Britain in 1779 because the Spanish Empire started over here. It, the, the Spanish Empire over here exceeds the one in Spain. People don't understand. Spain is just a location. <laughs> the Spanish Empire exceeds Spain. OK, it did not recognize the United States independence until what? The 1783 Treaty of Paris. Under the terms of the treaty, which ended the war of the American Revolution, Great Britain officially acknowledged the United States as a sovereign and independent nation. And with that I'm being said, we've already went over this on, the, on these calls. I'm going to add more to my calls. Um, but these consultations, it's a declaration. Remember, they declared their independence by motion. I'm out.